So now we know that that second option is the best way, the most effective way of getting that bankruptcy removed from your credit report. So that's what I strongly rec recommend. This is the NyQuil of the uh, disputing methods compared to the chicken noodle soup. But like I said, if you're chicken noodle soup, that's okay as well. But don't come complaining to me if two years down the line, you're still doing chicken noodle soup. When I'm showing you to have NyQuil, you could have resolved this matter in a much shorter period, but I digress. We know that this is the most effective way. Please understand that this may take several rounds. Bankruptcies are one of the hardest items to remove from a credit report. You got to have patience. You can't think one, two, maybe three or four letters are it. We're at the mercy of the bureaus. They play games. I've proven this. They play games with your life. They know you're right. They know they're wrong. They're going to just keep doing this. So there are some other methods that can get you results maybe even faster. I personally don't use this method, but I don't look at it in a negative like I do writing to the bankruptcy court and just going back and forth with everybody. I'm, I'm not that strongly against this method, but this method is where you freeze your credit report and you also freeze your credit report with LexisNexis. Now, if you don't know what LexisNexis is, in a nutshell, it is another credit bureau. If you look here, this is the website, but I actually want to take you over to the CFPB. So if you go to the CFPB, which is this Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I can do a whole other video on that if you want. It explains to you what LexisNexis is and what you can do. So LexisNexis, the full name is Risk Solutions, Risk Solutions, collects information from public records and multiple proprietary data sources. This includes items such as real estate transactions and ownership data, liens, judgments, and bankruptcy records, professional license information, and historical addresses on file. Contact this company to request your report. The company will provide you one free report every 12 months if you request it. Uh, the company will freeze your consumer report if you request it. Requesting copies of your own consumer reports does not hurt your credit score. For companies required to provide the information in your report for free annual, annually upon request, I've read this wrong, just rock out with me. They must do so within 15 days of receiving your request. So I'll repeat that. For companies required to provide the information in your report for free annually upon request. They must do so within 15 days of receiving the request. Now we're going to go into LexisNexis. This is what it looks like. The website is consumer.risk.lexisnexis.com. I'll put the link in the description. Now here's the thing. Uh, for one, make sure you're on the right side because if you don't put consumer in the search engine, it will send you to the business side. I did that by accident. I was confused. I was stuck for like five minutes. I was like, you know what? I'm on the wrong joint. So anyway, now this is the right one. As you can see, it's, uh, it'll say consumer portal here. So that'll help you submit a request online. It's more, it's easier to, to navigate through as opposed to being on the wrong side. Now, if you click on it here, this is how you can request your credit report. So it's just like the other bureaus. There's a whole lot of credit bureaus. Some of you guys just don't know that it, they exist. Like you got LexisNexis, CoreLogic, Innovis, Check Systems. You know what I mean? So they all, they're out there. And I'll do another video on that if you want. I'll just leave a comment. But in the meantime, some people use LexisNexis to freeze out their credit report. So you can see what's on your LexisNexis. And if I'm not mistaken, LexisNexis follows you through the your whole adult life. So, I mean, you can re request a report. I will give you a heads up. It's not an easy read. You have to sit down and kind of pay attention to it and just try to get used to it. But um, you can see what is on there. You can even dispute items on there as well, just like any other credit report. But you could also freeze yourself out. So freeze your credit report. You go to security freeze. You click there, consumer portal, you scroll down and it explains to you what a credit freeze is and how to do it. Okay. So I'm not going to read all this crap. You can do that. But the point is to let you know that this is definitely an option for you. And I encourage you guys to freeze your credit. But I don't have a problem with it. The reason why I stopped doing it is because um, a lot of my clients are trying to purchase a home and purchase a home quickly. When you start freezing your account, some people think it helps 
get the, the deletions faster, including bankruptcies. But I never really noticed a difference in my clients who are trying to search, get a house quickly. If I fix their credit quickly, immediately go to their lender and then their lender will try to check their credit report and they can't because everything's frozen. It kind of just slows the process down a little bit for my clients and it just became a headache it, at the end of the day. And then they're calling me like, hey, how do I do it? Even though I explain how to unfreeze it. So it's just less messy. And then the point is, am I getting the result? Yes or no? Without doing the credit freeze. And I do. I get bankruptcies deleted all the time without doing a credit freeze. Is it faster? I'm I'm gonna honestly say no. I can't really tell it the difference because at because we're at the mercy of the credit bureau, it's hard to tell. Except if I were to go the long chicken noodle soup route and then comparing those two, I can say, okay, this is much faster. But just freezing out an account uh, to me, I don't think uh, it makes a difference. If you follow these steps, this is exactly, exactly how I dispute bankruptcies. I get good results. You should be straight. Like I said, just give yourself some time and be realistic. Now, the last way, this is the greatest way of all, is going to fix my credit now, 850.com. This is the abbreviated version to the long version, right? Go on my website, schedule yourself a free consultation, a free 30 minute consultation, people. Okay. So all you have to do is scroll down here. 30 minutes book yourself an appointment yeah there you go okay see what's available and come talk to me all right i'm gonna tell you guys right now like i say it all the time please do not set up a consultation if you're not serious that's one first and first mostly two if you're not ready to move forward and pay for the services i got a weird phone call on christmas eve yo legit christmas eve this was like eight o'clock at night I answered the phone. I mean, I just, you know, why not? You never know. People go through stuff at all, all the time. And this lady was like, yeah, I'm going to need your services, but I need to know. Um, I don't have to pay for this, right? Uh, Yeah, it's a service. It's like I pay for your electricity. You pay your car note, your mortgage and all that. But anyway, but yeah, definitely hit me up. This is what our website looks like. It's amazing. All right. Just like your credit repair specialist, Tamaya Robles. You click on here. You can check out our YouTube and podcast information. Our do-it-yourself store. I'm putting more eBooks up for you guys. And a lot of you guys like to do it yourself, but you honestly just don't know where to start. If you need to get funding, definitely hit me up. Uh, business funding, personal funding. Report your rental payments as a trade line. We'll get into trade lines in another video. But yeah, for the most part, just hit me up. I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. It can be overwhelming. It can be frustrating. Yes, I do understand that. Um, but that's why we're here for you. Okay. You can check out our social media platforms. I have more platforms than this, but yeah, definitely check me out. Check us out on YouTube. Check out the podcast, Coast to Coast Credit. Check us out on Facebook. I have five Facebook groups, as you know. My main one is Credit and First Time Home Buyers Plug. I do a lot of free game all the time. You might see me in other people's groups. <laughs> You know, just talking that good education, that good credit education and whatnot. But yeah, you can, if you want to check me out, check out my podcast, go to iHeartRadio, Spotify. The links again are in the description. I'm coming on Apple soon. It's just a matter of days. Let's cross our fingers and our toes. But in the meantime, I hope, hope, hope this was helpful for you guys. I really do. And I wish you the best of luck on your credit journey. You have a good one. Bye-bye.